Good evening once again this Tuesday, Blessed Tuesday. And thank you very much for having us in your homes, on your phones, on your laptops, on YouTube, on Facebook, on the One Accord TV. It's always a pleasure to be with you as we learn together on this fabulous show, The Law and You. The Bible talks about that our people perish for lack of knowledge. And we are looking forward to learn together. As you learn, you also learn it's a process that we are enjoying and learning a lot as we move on. Today we have gotten a big, big recap and feedback from the law and you on the road. And a big thank you to Deliverance Church, Kaawa West, for hosting us and having us. It was a blessing and we continue to get a lot of feedback, a lot of questions, and we are coming back. Today we are back on the One Accord Studios and we are coming back to a church near you to a location near you. If you're a group of ladies, men, children, teenagers, border border guys, uh, or mama or soko, anyone, and you guys have a group, you want us to come and, and, and learn together, welcome us, will be a blessing to you, as also you are a blessing to us. A lot of questions were asked from our show last time, and that's what I want us to do, a recap, and then we introduce a new, but a very interesting sh topic, that I was asked about. Because a lot of people were asking, you, when you are talking about marriage, there was a question that, and then some of you were saying about, you need to do a search, the way you do a search, unafanya search ya shamba, search ya gari, kujua kama mtu ame olewa, maliku ameowa. Now what walikuwa nauliza, what if we don't get it, someone lies, what happens? Today we'll be talking about begami. And to take us through this, we have our Kili Eliud, who has been with us for many number of shows, and he is back with us. And hopefully the next time we'll be on the road, we'll be with him. Eliud, karibu sana. Asante sana. Yes. yes. Say hi, Jambo. It's been a minute. Say yes. hi to people. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm glad to be here today and to join uh, the great team at Below and you. Asante. Karibu. As for the people who have been, uh, who, are, who, are, who ask uh, who is Eliud, Eliud is an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. He has offices at Karen, so when you're around Karen there area and you're looking for Awakili, he's the person to talk to. Eliud, people have been asking about the issue uh, on bigamy. But before we reach there, I want us to go back to people to understand. When we were talking about marriage, we talked about five different types of marriages. Maybe you can... A quick a recap, we can just mention, like one, we have the Hindu yes. type of marriage. Which, which are the other marriages we are talking about? There is a Christian uh, marriage yeah. uh, where the parties have to be uh, believers. Or Both of them are Christians. Yeah, <laughs> they have to be uh, <laughs> no, Christians. Uh, believers is not a must, <laughs> but they, they need to profess the Christian yeah. faith. Yeah, they profess the Christian faith. Yeah. It's an Islamic uh, marriage. Yes. They have to profess the uh, Islamic, Islamic faith. faith. Then we have uh, uh, customary yeah. uh, marriages. Where well, they have to profess the well, they have African. To profess African faith. <laughs> the African faith, no, they have to profess with Tamadun. Yeah. With tam <laughs> yeah. oh, not really, but yeah. they have to have gone through those cultural activities like Together, dowry yeah. Yeah. and exchange of gifts and such things. Yeah. That becomes a customary marriage. And finally, we have, uh, uh, what do you call it? Civil marriage. Civil marriage. Where Munenda kwa mutu anaito AG. AG. Yes. Normally people kitambo likuwa sama tunenda kwa DC. They used to go to, to uh, DC. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's what people understand. But it's the AG or even Nairobi Sharia House. So there's one thing, there was one peculiar thing. For example, like for the Hindu marriage mm -hmm. and the Christian marriage and the civil marriage. Uh, but you see, like for example, like the Hindu, it's potentially polygamous and monogamous. Mm. So that because I want us to introduce the bigamy, but I want people to understand which types of marriages will be affected. Mm. Because you see, like for example, the Hindu, you cannot marry two wives. Mm. 
Uh, civil, you cannot mm. marry two wives. Yeah. Uh, Christian, mm -hmm. you cannot marry two wives. Mm. But there are two which you can marry many yes, wives, yes. which is Islamic and uh, customary. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Customary marriages. marriages. That is where you are allowed to marry as many people as you want. Yes. So now the question comes here: mm -hmm. What is bigamy? So that now you can introduce people to, to 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 this. What is bigamy? Bigamy is where you enter into another marriage while your previous marriage is still subsisting, subsisting, and while uh, also your partner, your husband or wife, is still alive. He's still alive. Yes. So we go back to, 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 to maybe, maybe a recap for the people who are joining us. We said for marriages, one issue about marriage is that uh, for Christian marriage, unless you divorce, you cannot marry someone else. For civil marriages, unless you divorce, you cannot marry someone else. And for Hindu marriage, unless you divorce, you cannot marry someone else. Mm -hmm. But for Muslim and for customary marriages, you can marry someone else as many as you want. For Muslim, is four. Mm -hmm. For customary, you can go to 20. <laughs> yeah. Or even and, more. Uh, yeah, or even more. You can even be like uh, King Solomon was, how many? 700 and 300. It was 300, 300 700. concubines. 1,000. Yeah. Because I think that uh, we need to have a research on how that was happening. But we, so that's the thing we are, we are talking about. Mm. So what we are saying, if you married in the Muslim or customary marriage, today's topic does not affect you. Mm. Because you can have a husband and a wife, you can have a husband and a wife. But I think that you can have a husband and a wife. You can have a husband and a wife. Because you can have a that is what now we are coming for bigamy. So we are left on Christian, civil, and Hindu. But let me ask you, yeah. can you get into uh, a, a customary marriage where you have two wives? Then on getting the third wife, you go to the ages or you come to church? Now, that's the other thing now. It's a good thing you're introducing this because I remember the time the people, uh, a, that's a question that people are coming up. But you remember, when a marriage, when you're married as a polygamous person, the marriage is potentially polygamous. Mm -hmm. When you're married as a, in a Christian setup or a civil setup, the marriage is mm -hmm monogamous, cannot be potentially mm -hmm. polygamous. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest challenge that we have been having. And that's the reason why the topic bigamy today is coming. Whereby you are married, like now you are supposed to be married culturally, properly, and uh, all the traditional things have been done. Then there for civil marriage. Now to kifanya ile search, to go to the ile search, kufanya kama mtu wameolewa, maja olewa, do you know they will not see you in the civil marriages if you are married? And then you go and get married. It is illegal. But does it happen? Yes. Especially. Waze on Africa 67th party, and I could tell what you could Nairobi. So you come as a town singing as the Gongana machine as a Nairobi. Unafanyuri the kitu Nairobi. What to say, Unafanyuri the kitu Nairobi. So Unakuta, maybe a third, fourth wife, they are going to certificate IG. And she comes flashing it. Maybe they got a certificate. And that's the reason why the law was changed in 2014 and yes. said, yes. even for customary marriage, unasai kupatua certificate. So utafadhali wa mama wako pale inje, na wazee wako pale inje. Bibi yako wasikuja na marriage certificate ya kijana mwingine wa 27 year old. Ensure mzee uko na certificate yako ya marriage, even if you got married in a customary setup. Uh, maybe now I, 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 I will need to ask you this. So we have realized, if you are married customary, and then you come do the civil marriage or the Christian marriage, it is illegal. Yes. And that is what you call bigamy. bigamy yeah. Because you are saying that bigamy happens when you are married to someone else, you are not yet divorced, and they are not dead. They are still alive. Because mm. marriage ends either by divorce or death. Mm. I think that, is there any other? There's uh, no other way out. Is marriage, that, yeah. ukufe, death, yeah. I'm a divorce. So at this time, one of them has done that. Now, that's when bigamy happens. I, I hope the recap has helped people to be able to understand where we are. 
So maybe before, I don't want us to enter that before we we mm. are on the same page. Mm. Tafala, mm. mm. kama umeowa na umeolewa, mm. wendo uolewe tena, ama uowe tena, hapa ndio unafanya makosa na hituwa baigami. Na ndi iyo, ndio sheria nasema ni makosa, yeah. na ndiyo tunakuja kuongelelea. Kama uu kona certificate ya kanisa, ama ile ya DC, uwezi enda kuwa mtu mwingine, ukiowa ni tabia mbaya, ni mm. makosa, kisheria. Mm. Lakini kama uliowa customer, umeowa bibi wakwaza customer, wapili customer, watatu, ama hata wakwanza, wapili ni unenda kwa AG, pia hiyo ni makosa. Mm. Kwa sasa hile uliowa ki customer, unless uende u divorce, uenjua huyo sasa zi bibi yako, ndi unakuja, unaeza fanya Christian. Unless ule bibi wako wa customer, uyo moja, ndi umeamua umeka na ye after miaka mbili tatu unambia madam, ama mze, tuende tukachukua certificate. I hope now this is clear. So when you get married to someone else, when your husband and wife is still alive and you have not divorced, mm. now that's where the crime happens and is what we want to discuss today. So Wakili, take us through. Mm -hmm. So you have said bigamy is when you get married, someone is not dead and you're not divorced. Yeah. So what happens? What ntapigo uh, viboko? Kutaka aji? What 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 does ini sheria gani ni wa umetunga makume? No, uh, yeah. this one is highlighted in what we call the penal code. Yeah. Uh, under section 171, yeah. it provides that if uh, you catch your husband or your wife mm -hmm. in another marriage, uh -huh. then you can actually take them to court and uh, go through the court process, prove that they have entered into another marriage without... Uh, terminating your marriage your first. marriage uh -huh. first and uh, once that is done what the law provides for is that you be sentenced to uh, imprisonment of five years does it have a fine it does not have a fine the <laughs> that section that's how serious the uh, makosa is yes that's serious so it's a felony it's a felony not a misdemeanor up. it's not a misdemeanor yeah. and a misdemeanor in this case not a small uh, offense it's a serious hey, offense. Tu atisha, atisha na maneno. What we are saying. Ojo anaweza kuwa tunaongea Kiswahili hapo anaona kama simu simu wakili. What we are saying, katika sheria kuna makosa namna mbili. Mm. Ya kwanza ni hizi ndogo ndogo. Hizi ndogo ndogo sio umeiba mm. nini umekojoa pale kwa barabara. Ile ya kanjo, unajua kuna makosa ya kanjo ile eh. ama sio ulipatikana na simu unashika. Mm. So hizo ndio sana sana sheria inasemanga unaweza unaweza fungwa ile miezi me, 3, 6, miaka mm -hmm. saba, lakini mm -hmm. kuna option of fine. But kuna makosa katika kisheria ambaya kunanga option ya fine. Mm. And please I want to say this is important kila wakati uki ukienda kushtakiwa tafuta wakili. Kwa sababu kitu ya kwanza ukishikwa endo ujiulize what is the punishment? Ukiona punishment ambayo, ukiona makosa ambayo ina fine, juu hapo ni mbaya. Kwa kama saa hii, inasembekana hivi. Ukishikuwa na hiyo makosa, unafungwa, meaka, tano. ine tano, yeah. na kuna option ya fine. And especially, I can tell you today, watu wengi wameacha mabibi ushago, wanasemanga hiyo ni bibi yao, wanakujo wanachukua bibi mwingine, ili wameka sujuu kwa medical cover, ama sujuu wapate benefits, wanaenda kuchukua marriage certificate hapo kwa, kwa registra. Amo wengine unakuto uliwawa na Mombasa. Ujwa kitambo, wakili. Before, we, we are not in the digital era. So, you would come to Sheria House Nairobi to do mm. a search. Na inaonekana uwe ni msafi kama pamba. Mm. Mm. Ama ile kitambo, pastor walikuwa, ujwa kitambo, ulikuwa na, pastor ndi alikuwa na iyo kitabu. Maybe, I think, people need to understand this. In the kitambo before 2014, when the Sheria ili change, pastor alikuwa na kana hizi vitabu kwa ofisi. Anaenda na kujazia. Akijaza na kupatia kopi moja, anabaki. anabaki na moja, ingine anapeleka kwa AG. Wachugaji wengi wako anapeleka. So wewe, umeowa, lakini AG, awajui kwamba umeowa. Mm. So ukinatoka hapo unakutana msichana mwingine Nairobi, mulikosana na umu na bibi yako, maybe huko Mombasa, umeenda kisumu, umepatana mwingine, umeenda umefanya search kisumu, wewe ni msafi. Unenda unaowa tena. Kisheria ni makosa. Wengine wanafanya, that's the reason I'm saying, please understand on that. It's in the penal code, na makose yake, aina fine. But also, so, yes. sometimes, uh, you know, the dissolution of a marriage is a process. Yeah. So you don't just show up in court for a divorce and you get the termination done. You have to go through 
some time process and you are given the first document called a decree uh, nisi yes which uh, it's supposed to see whether you are sure you are sure <laughs> of this uh, <laughs> decision yeah. that you are about to uh-huh. enter into mm. and um, after that uh, decree nisi expires most of the courts will give you 30 days yeah initially it used to be up six to 60 months. Uh, yeah. yeah six months yeah. um you may find that somebody has uh, has has actually gone to court is in the process and he wants to move on and before that decree absolute the final document is issued by the court this person now comes to you or finds a young girl somebody somewhere and they decide uh, let's fast track these issues eh those are uh, that's another scenario that you will find people committing the that uh, felony of game uh, bigamy because another thing also what wakili is talking about we talked about this the moment you get your divorce uh, decree nisi you wait for it to be decree nisi absolute you need to have it registered as sharia house for it to be confirmed so that when you do a search ile search to court nasema search yako itakuwa single search yako itakuwa divorce so that now you can be sure now i'm not committing a crime and the challenge we have in terms of uh, the law Uwezi sema mimi siko anajua kama ulikuwa unajua ma ujui mm. makosa imefanyika and people will ask nani huyu ako na makosa mingi hivi nani huyu ako na bail anaenda kunishtaki maybe like what you are saying how how, how do people know that uh, that uh, that uh, maybe bigamy has happened ulikuwa umeoa bado uja divorce how would people know what are the instances because it's not anywhere but what are the instances that may bring some of these things um instances of <coughs> knowing that somebody has actually broken the law is basically of course a marriage has to be celebrated yeah and the celebration of a marriage will either happen in a garden or in a church yeah. or in the ag's office and so people will get wind of that information yeah. number two um there's a display of a notification yeah <coughs> the requirement that you have to actually for 21 days you have to display display it yeah. and if anyone is opposing that union they can come forward and stop it so in that process of displaying it which happens in uh, yeah, outside your church itafanyika hapo nje ya kanisa ama na pia itakuwa pale kwa ag hapo nje wata display tutajua tu tajua afu ndio nyingine kama hiyo nimesema there are there are people who are innocent wanafanya makosa si kwa sababu wanajua wewe bhai wewe ulioa bibi na uruki bibi wa kwanza kabisa bibi wa kwanza ni bibi yako unaenda unapata bibi wa pili lakini bibi wa pili anakuambia mimi nakupenda lakini nataka tu tu sign karatasi unasema ku sign karatasi tu na una sign pia mnaenda hata na kuna kuna nyingine hata nasikia bibi wa kwanza anakupelekanga hata kulipa mahari ya bibi ya pili ndio kuna wanaume wamebarikiwa bwana sasa hii ni baraka but there are people who just wanatembea kwa nuru so they have not hidden anything but you need to understand taking a certificate for a second or a third wife mm. when the first wife is still your wife ndio makosa inafanyika and most times i i was telling people Uh, in these stories a divorce ndio maana watu wakuwa na certificate kitambo ulikuwa unaenda kotini kwanza na hata juzi kuna kuna watu wakubwa kubwa kwa hiki kicho walikuwa kona hiyo kesi unaenda kotini kwanza you tell the court can you declare we were married first mm-hmm. so that the court now can give you a divorce and now there's a reason after 2014 court ilisema itaki kufanya hizo mavitu zote usheria imesema hata mm-hmm. kama ni customer you register it mm-hmm. so imagine you have married a second wife wa kwanza mnakosana naye mkienda ku divorce anaambia court kwanza declare I was married wazee walikuja ngombe zilisema mo gari zikasema pipi alafu <laughs> umekuja hapo imekuwa declared a marriage now what happens automatically bigamy happens mm. so let us be careful especially wale wakona mabibi wawili watatu unaamua kupatia wa pili ama tu unaweza amua kupatia wa kwanza certificate na umeacha mabibi wengine wawili watatu umechukua certificate ya, ya civil marriage it is still bigamy because the moment uli promise msichana wa watu kumwambia ni bibi watatu it is customary marriage and it is understood that you will be 
they will be in a marriage that is it has many wives and many husbands. Mm. Kuna kuna unaweza appeal. Yeah. Ama what is the defense? Ni unaweza jitetea, unaweza marriage hiyo mbele ya court. Unajua kitu kingine watu wastahili kujua. Kwa sababu for 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 felony matters. Sio kama inakuanga na marriage mingi mbele ya court. Hiyo ndio shida iko. Uh, mm. uh, probably, you know, some of the defense, some people might be very innocent. Mtu, yeah. uh, for example, mtu, <laughs> your, your wife woke up, akabeba vitu zake, yeah. mizigo, and disappeared. Desertion, we call it desertion. Yeah. And they disappeared for 10, 15 years, and you want to move on with your life. And because of lack of this information, that information, you have to yeah. go back to court, who fanyi declaration what you just how declared alipotea how he declared yeah. yes alipotea because yeah. you have to say alipotea yeah. alipotea then unaambiwa sawa now you can move on uh, because of lack of that information uh unaweza tumia hiyo kama defense useme uh, i didn't have that information and so mimi nikaenda maybe in our district in our county offices where there is an AG office and I registered this marriage. And you registered this marriage. Yes. But what you are telling people is that uh, now you have the information, please. Especially I want to talk to the older generation, the ones who have two, three wives. Then if you give your first wife or the second or the third wife these certificates, ensure that the other marriages have been dissolved properly so that you are not accused of this thing called bigamy. Because as you have said, it does not have an option of fine. So the moment it's proved it has happened, it's jail time for you. And I can promise you, our prisons are not the best. In fact, <laughs> one day I want to talk about, uh, we need to talk about the state of the prisons. Because someone said that, I was talking to someone, he said the biggest challenge you have is that the prisons mm -hmm. were made by the colonial people. Mm -hmm. I don't think even there's a prison that has been built after independence. Most of them were built by the colonial people. Mm -hmm. And they were built for the black people with a colonial mentality. So even even remand where you are considered innocent before, mm. before you're innocent until found guilty, the conditions are just bad because mm. that was the mentality that was there. So we don't want you going there. We don't want giving. Uh, but what you have said is that anytime you have, please you can uh, talk to, to to the lawyers. They can be able to advise. It is ifike katiko yo wakati. Wakili, another thing maybe it's out of this topic, but something that people are asking a lot is uh, there's, there's been stories of fake lawyers that have come up. Mm. And uh, guys are like, me when I'm dealing with a lawyer, me I know he's a, he's a good lawyer. Mm -hmm. And the biggest challenge is was the beard gang. So is that the sign of a fake lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. I couldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, 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 there are different ways of uh, mm. establishing whether you're dealing with a professional. Yeah. Uh, in this case, kama we ni wakili, mwenye ako register, ako na license. Yeah. And one of the ways of doing it is, uh, an advocate uh, who is given the right to practice in Kenya, atakuwa na a status mm -hmm. ya kusema, they are active. Uh -huh. uh, na the only way to establish kwanza, kama I'm even an, an advocate, ama mm -hmm. wana when Babu hapa ni, ni wakili hapa, yeah. the only way I can find out to go na internet. Yeah. Enda tu kwa internet hapo, weke majina zake tatu. Mm. Na uongeze hapo mwisho advocate. Yeah. Itakupeleka kwa website ya LSK Kenya. Yeah. Na hiyo LSK website itakuonyesha kama you know. that is the person you're dealing with to establish whether uh, unakuwa conned by some fake person. Yeah, because uh, maybe what to ambao wajui, uh, if you go to your internet, you type up for advocate search engine, itakupatia jina, uadike jina ya law firm, uadike jina ya yu wakili, inasai kutoa na picha yake, ujue kama unadili the right person. Na pale nani naeza kuwa lakini meandikuwa active, ingini meandikuwa not active. Yes. Ule active ndio wakili ambao kwa sawa. Ama off. Eh, ama struck off, ama deceased, itakuonesha hizo vitu zote. Mm. Number two, especially ukifanya hizi mabiashara za shamba and everything, Hata mwakili ngini wanasema, attach your practice certificate. Kwa sababu kila mwaka tunalipanga pesa. Mm. E, Vili unapati yangu license ya gari, tu insurance hivyo. Tunakuanga na hiyo insurance ya kila mwaka ambayo inalipo. And that's another thing that you also need to know, wakili wako wanasai kuwa na kitu inaitua PI cover, professional indemnity. Mm. Ili kama kuna kitu wana kufanyia, 
ikienda makimakosa unastahili kulipwa so usiogope unaweza ambia wakili ni sawa uko na professional indemnity cover mm. uko na insurance mm. in fact hiyo ndio rahisi uko na insurance, insurance anazaidi yeah. kukuonesha insurance mm. and then after that uko na uko na practice certificate ya hii mwaka kila mwaka kuna kuanga na yake 2023 2022 2021 yeah. Eh? Zilikuwa za blue. Kitambo zilikuwa za blue. <laughs> eh, lakini saa hizi za blue saa hizi zinatolewa online. Yeah. You can authenticate from the law society. You can make a call, you can ask. Do not fear to ask because the the pain of dealing with a quack. Mm. It's uh, you can lose your property, you can lose your life because ukifungwa sasa wewe ume ume represent na mtu ajui kesi atakufanyia mambo mbaya mbaya. I don't know if also, I've Yes. You can uh, the other thing you need to do is just your due diligence and uh, maybe ask for referrals. Yeah. Um, ask that lawyer who, who have you worked with? Yeah. And um unaweza nipatia contact yake maybe I need to find out. Wow. And you do your due diligence who is uh, the person who they worked with find out also the quality of the work that person the does. The quality of the work. Ili yeah. kwa a fake lawyer of course their quality probably cases are zishangi. Yeah. Eh yeah, wanafungua file lakini wanashindwa kupatia zile uh, hadithi za ma, majitu. Na, na another thing maybe cheap is expensive. Ukisikia mtu anakuambia leta 500 ata ku represent. It's very expensive <laughs> to have a lawyer in this country. Cheap is expensive. So we are not saying that lazim wende kwa akili expensive but you understand what we are saying. Ni kama daktari hakuna vile daktari anakuambia leta hapo 100 ni kudunge shindano. Mm. Unajiuliza shule hata hii shindano kweli si 100 dawa time yake. Mm. You can go uh, please wale watu watanga kukutana na wakili kwa barabara. Penda kukutana na wakili kwa ofisi pia. Itakusaidia at least uh, kuna watu kwa hiyo ofisi yako peke yake. Mm. Kuna watu wengine kuna kawasiwasi. Hata unajua unaweza ifika kwa building mahali kwa gate. Unasema nataka kwenda kuona wakili fulani unaambua hapa kuna anga wakili. Yeah. Na wakili anasema amekaa hapo miaka 5. Hakuna venye kwa building watu wajue hakuna wakili na wamekaa hapo. Mm. Kwa sababu kuna sign kuna nini. It, it will help you. Let us stop being conned. And next time we'll be talking of, uh, about another beautiful topic on the issue of children grandparents can grandparents take up children can they be treated as their own children? We'll be talking about land watu wengi mashamba zinavunjwa huku. There are a lot of things you are, we want to talk about. If you want us to visit you in your church, in your groups, in your area, or if there's a topic that you wish for us to talk about, please, there is a number on your screen or an email address. Please ensure you contact us and we'll come back to you. So, Wakili, I don't know, as a closing remark, what do you want to tell your people? I want to tell my people to be very, uh, to be very diligent in how they are dealing with their things. Kama umepromisiwa andoa na mtu, yeah. uh, fanya search. Fanya search. <laughs> Find out, uliza, uliza the friends. Yeah. Eh, uyu mtu anakuanga na mtu mwingine. Yeah. Uh, kona watu wake. Yeah. And uh, you'll be safe if you're dealing with an advocate. Also, find out. Go yeah. to their office. Angalia kama hata kuna files. Ama yeah. kuna... Ama ndi wa kwanza. Yeah, ama we ndi mtu wa kwanza. Yeah. And, and you'll be safe. Asante. Yes. Thank you very much, Wakili. It's always a pleasure to have Eliud with us. And may God bless you so much for your information, for your time. Asante. Having uh, the lawyer every Tuesday evening to be with us, we don't take it for granted. May God bless you. See you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. on your favorite show, The Law and You.